Welcome back to Sonoran Living Live. Oh boy, I certainly wish you had smell a vision because it smells so good in here. We are back in the Stone Creek Kitchen with Chef Michael Bauman. He is from Roaring Fork. This is in Scottsdale, a wonderful restaurant where bold American Western cooking is on the menu and rainbow trout and green beans is on our menu today. It smells yes, wonderful. It is. Let's go back really quickly. Why are we cook uh, cooking the skin side down? Uh, so it'll get nice and crispy. Like I said, it's almost like a good piece of chicken skin. All right, we and all we, have it, we have it butterflied in there, right? Yes. All the bones are out. You can, like I said, you can get it from your uh, local grocery store. Prepared this way, they'll take the bones out. But right now, we've got it cooked about three quarters of the way through, so mm -hmm. we're gonna flip it. All right. You kind of gotta have hot hands. Woo. So we get that Ooh. nice crispy skin on there, and then we're just gonna let that go. In the meantime, we're gonna start our green beans in a pan sauce. All right. And what so, is this sauce gonna consist of? This sauce is just a brown butter almond bean sauce. Um, it's got about three tablespoons of unsalted butter. And we're going to let that go in the pan. And this is the unhealthy part about the dish. The <laughs> I was about to say three tablespoons of butter. Now, can we use alternative? How about maybe olive oil? Or uh, you can use olive oil, but what you're looking for in this sauce is the milk solids and the butter to caramelize. It'll start getting that hazelnut smell, mm -hmm. and it'll start getting nutty and delicious. What can I hand to you? What else? Do you Let's see. We're going to start the green beans also. Okay. Now, this is a cilantro compound butter that we make at the restaurant. More butter. Yes. <laughs> All right. It's going to be butter. yummy. I butter get it. Flavor. I get it. I get it. So we'll put that in the pan. We'll let that butter get going. Mm -hmm. And this, this butter is pretty simple to make. It's just uh, room temperature butter, uh, chopped up cilantro, a little garlic, and some shallots. And how should this sauce smell to us? This sauce should uh, have a hazelnut smell to it when hazelnut. it's finished. Hazelnut, okay. Mm, it, it, it smells absolutely scrumptious, but, uh, but so does the fish. So we have some just some great flavors going on here. And um, you were talking earlier about, you know, the menu at, at the restaurant. This is the kind of stuff we're going to see night after night, or is this a special? This is the kind of stuff. This is actually a menu item that is on our menu. So, mm -hmm. so uh, you Roaring can come Fork in. Is, is known for this. Yes. Um, we sell a lot of it, and it's probably one of our top two sellers in the restaurant. And a lot of folks feel like, you know what, if I have a piece of fish and then I have a green bean, I need a starch, but not necessarily. This, not necessarily. Because um, you're going to have the almonds you in know, there. You know, if you're looking to not eat so many carbohydrates, uh, then you don't really need that starch. Um, you know, you got the nuts. Mmm, that looks delicious. And how long should the, the trout cook? Roughly the on trout, side? I, I would say probably seven minutes on the skin side okay. and then three minutes on the uh, fillet side because you don't want it to dry out. All righty, well, I tell you, it smells delicious. And let's look at the completed product here. Wow, absolutely wonderful. This looks so good, uh, Chef. I appreciate you coming in. We do have this recipe. Tell us again. Rainbow trout? Rainbow trout with a caper almond uh, manure sauce. All righty. It's on our website, SonoranLiving.com. Absolutely delicious. And you can go visit those folks over at the Roaring Fork in Scottsdale, a delicious place. Thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate you coming in. Oh, gosh. I can't wait to, to dig in. <laughs>